Educator wants to help get kids excited about the numerical subject. Mm -hmm. Now, this morning we are joined by a very special math teacher, right, T? Yeah, Navi Riar. How are you, Navi? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on today. Oh, of course, of course. Now, I uh, follow you on Instagram, and you have all these great tips, very quick tips for parents to um, encourage your little ones to start learning just such easy ways and just regular everyday objects you can use, right? Yeah, so I've got four activities for you today that are really going to help uh, strengthen your child's spatial reasoning skills. And those are the skills that allow us to manipulate objects uh, two dimension, three dimension in our minds. So I've got some fun activities set up for you. All right, let's see the first one here. Okay, the first one, you probably have some kind of interlocking blocks at home. So you build a small figure and then just pull out the markers and paper and have your child rotate or reflect the object and then draw what they see. And this is really going to help them understand that, okay, if the pink is on this side, when I reflect it, it moves it to the other side. So getting them to think oh. about how shapes can look different from different perspectives, a super easy, fun way uh, to practice with just some markers, papers, and some of the blocks you probably already have at home. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. Another fun one, um, kids love going on a treasure hunt. So you can sit down with your child and draw a map of their room with them. And this really gives them a chance to see what their room looks like from a bird's eye perspective. And then in their room, go ahead and place a small tree, a packet of stickers, and then mark that location on the map. And this is oh, a great okay. way for them to see, okay, this is what my room looks like from a different perspective and have them use the map to find their tree. So really fun way uh -huh. uh, to practice uh, a little bit of treasure hunting with your kiddo. Oh, that's a good one, that's good, good one. okay. Another good one, um, I've just built a cube out of these interlocking blocks and then I drew the six faces on index cards. So then you can have your child rotate the cube oh, until yeah. it matches what they see on the index card. And this really allows them to see that this cube has different faces and, hum, and gets them to think about what it looks like every time you rotate it and notice that, okay, this is where the color placement is gonna be if I rotate it to the right or to the left. So really easy setup with this one. Oh, that's fun. Okay, you got Another one more, we got time too. for one more. I've got one more. Okay, so I've challenged myself. I'm like, what can, what else can we do with a roll of toilet paper? So if you have a child who really likes to draw, okay, have them draw this and they'll notice it's a cylinder, but then also have them look at it from the top and say, okay, we have a circle. So this is getting them to see, okay, a three-dimensional object can have different two-dimensional faces. So we've got a circle here and then they notice even if they unroll a sheet of toilet paper, even though we have a cylinder, it actually unrolls uh, and folds, um, rolls into a rectangle. So getting them to think about, okay, how shapes can look different if we take different slices or look at them from different perspectives, it all helps build those spatial reasoning skills. Wonderful, I love it. Okay, so on your Instagram, it is, um, what is it for? It's math, math teacher, teacher mom, mom blog. blog. Yes. Okay, and you are a math teacher, Navi Riar. Thank you so much. And I love when you share all these ideas. And I, I like the one with the clay, you know, press uh -huh. it like three oh, times. That one is a huge hit. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, thank you so much. Again, if you want to follow her on Instagram, Math Teacher Mom Blog, for other uh, ideas that you can work with your kids on. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, Navi. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Thank you.